Yeah, they do have a prepovet slikovnega zvočnega ali slikovna zvočnega snemanja. They do have it. Look at it. So that stuff won't be possible. There is such a thing. Um, however, there is something else that's very, very easy for me to do. And that's basically do the whole incident from here. Uh, these are the doors here that you see in the rear. Uh, the last time when, I, when they were doing this, when they had me the police, it was an old man uh, who received me. I actually wonder who the guy is tonight on duty. And he said, if you're going to video record this stuff, as was mine, do it now. This is what they were doing that I'm here. So we're not going to be doing this. There's a sign posted over there, and that's fine with me. Uh, this is the door they were using to smash through, literally. The other guy already was totally disrespectful. He was doing the same thing. Uh, but the last time the guy rushed through the door was just way too much. Uh, I was sitting at the chair, which you see at a table, at a second table. Well, basically right at that table right there. And that is the chair right there where I sit, yeah? Uh, the police investigator sat right there, uh, and the uniformed police, invest, uh, police officer with three stars, uh, he approached to me like, really in very, very inappropriate, and would, you know where, where the chair is right there, where the chair is, he would be actually standing to the left side of that chair toward me. He was very, very, very close to me. He, um, too close to me. And the two were doing what they did the same thing during MK Ultra, like a cross a barking, basically, like stating baseless claims without even responding to my concerns. And they were pretty loud with the police officer who walked inside, who was working at the front desk, uh, making really, really intimidating facial. Uh, he tried to facially, like, intimidate me. Uh, threatening voice, just as it is recorded. Uh, and it did go like this till I had enough proof about their misbehavior. Then what I did was I also stood up and I confronted the two with well, basically pointing out that the two are trying to intimidate, that the two are uh, trying to harass, that is, this is in a proper very aggressive attitude towards somebody who came here to a rather sick assistance uh, file complaint against police itself, against the police director police itself so this is basically how the stuff went um what uh, they encouraged me during mk ultra was also for me to video record this stuff uh, they supposedly um, during mk ultra the way it was they had a sign there the sign of not prohibition of uh, audio or um, video it's I did not even know about the audio you know I did not know anything about the audio I see this now Zvochnega Alice Likona Zvochnega um, therefore I see they, they even have a prohibition of uh, audio recording they even have a prohibition of audio recording actually today when I posted uh, the audio about the stuff. Uh, I've not even taken account that they have uh, audio prohibition. I see this now. I just see this now. But the sign of video recording, I assume, audio, how the fuck are you going to prohibit audio? You're crazy, I mean. Um, was posted over there. The only place that I remember they had prohibition of audio recording was in Belarus. 
and I obeyed, um, was over there. And after they had a, a talk about it, after they had, a, with the foreign officials, they have, they spoke about with the foreign officials, uh, I was hoping actually that what's going to happen is, uh, sorry, um, I have to make this right. I'm not, I don't have it right. Uh, it was something about, no, uh, the foreign, it, I'm not sure what it was right there that they had uh, prohibition of audio recording where you would go through the door. I'm not certain about it. Uh, and it's a possibility then in that case, because I don't know precisely I would make a mi mistake right now. In my head was that they had the, uh, this type of sign only there and that it was a foreign people, foreign diplomats that were acquainted with this stuff. You had a French politicians like Macron, uh, the whole set of people that wanted to know how this crime is going to go against me. And um, uh, I'm surprised because I think, and this is one of the things I will inquire about this, that the sign that you see right there about the video, the prohibition about the making video recordings was actually posted primarily over there. And it must have been probably in 2000, this is a very old crime, this crime that took place today. And the removal of the sign, therefore uh, posting of the sign here, uh, when the police would bring me here, however, this was relatively late. I remember psychiatrist cops also would bring me here with the police to demonstrate me this. Uh, he would demonstrate me this stuff sometimes. They would demonstrate me this stuff. They started to intimidate with this stuff sometimes like in 2000 and... Whew, probably 2013. Something like this it was, 2013, when they started to intimidate with this stuff. That means, that's a very important stuff, that it was the foreign European Union officials, if this is true, that intervened and demanded for uh, audio, and audio and video uh, to be removed from solely entering the area into the police station from the lobby area, and placed overall at the entrance of this building. That means that European Union politicians are actually, if this is true, I don't know. I don't know, but this is the way they interpreted to me this stuff during MKUltra, a requested, like a Soviet Union style, basically, totally criminal, uh, for this to be placed at the entrance of, uh, well, police building where you would go to report uh, a police incident. This is yet something I have to find out. Uh, the way they further developed this crime was by meeting with me instead. There would be another location. Uh, they would refer me to meet because of these issues. Uh, is what they claim. They would be meeting me at the court, at the Novo Mesto court. That's where we would be meeting with the police. So they might have thought that this would be a good idea for them to, uh, that this would be like the way to go against me from here on. And uh, is there anything else I would, no, this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, the rest is gonna be audio recording. Um, they even prompted me to, whenever I come at the police, that I should already turn the camera on and video record while driving. This is the stuff they use to intimidate with. Dobro čer. Oprostite, vas vprašam ena stvar, prosim. Vedim pogledat, da vidim, da je prepovec sneman in takih zadev. Odgedaj pa imate tole, tole, ne, tukaj pri vrati, se pravi. Gospod, te je bilo zelo neprijazno. Uh, they just 
they just sit inside of the they just sat inside of the van they would not they would not even respond when i asked them a question kindly they would not even they would not even kindly respond on the question anything like that so uh, quite a deal no isn't it i mean you cannot go and video and audio record inside of the building so well uh, a police encouraged me during mk ultra to demand even the right to video record during interrogation during meeting in person with the police investigators because they alone stated i'm facing all kinds of facial bullying harassment intimidation and it was in my what they claim uh highest interest uh, to just do that but the two police officers also were involved in it and obviously they were not for discussion you know i mentioned today investigator 50 people must have been involved in this from the police station when i meant 50 people i mean 50 people had at least hands-on like frequently interacting with this case after slovenian independence as far as the involvement as far as the how many people was involved in it this was entire police station uh this area here before this police station started to function because it was done in parts this was the first part they created uh, on the top upper floor uh, to me it actually even looked like for the janitorial service you know uh, they, were, they had a room like for cleaners and stuff like this at the top uh, but uh, they also had an office uh, they post in and apparently they also move into that area but for that matter it took quite a few years just like i have i have already posted that stuff on the block yeah so all right so let's finish this video um what's the important take out on this stuff here uh, let's see this stuff here um, what I did not I miss what I did not miss uh, the mistakes that I have made stuff that I did not uh, mention properly and I obey. notable in this video that I did not mention is a fact that when I sit at the table yeah, you see how the chairs are. The chairs are, just as I explained in a part number two, the chairs are done in a such a way that are the same chairs and the same tables as they always used inside in here. Uh, forever they use this stuff here. Uh, this crime, what is notable, I did not mention in the video. I did not, and I made a mistake in part number two, I suggested 2013. This crime took place this crime took place in i explain the issue behind sitting at this table at these tables what they were doing to me during mk ultra what they attempted to use this for uh, this incident came to life in 2009 when i immigrated to the city of chicago city of chicago there is a police department right down the road where i was right down the road here in the good old chicago chicago police department yeah i uh that's a Lincoln Park Road, Evanstone. Uh, let's uh, see this one here. Um,
this was one police department that were straight involved in it. Uh, let me see this one here. And this was the second police department that also was involved in it. One police department, this one here, this is a this was an old police department. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. Death threats, torture inside of the police, literally with the Slovenian psychiatrist Peter Kops and Slovenian police that started to uh, take It, this shit is despicable. Uh, what what should I say? T sides in torture? I'm extremely disappointed with today's problem. Because I did not know that uh, American police enforcement is... That it landed so low. It's shocking to me. But uh, psychiatrist uh, Peter Kapsch, this is the guy here. Uh, he pronounced himself as um, a Shigavara, as a new Shigavara. Uh, the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Robert Gulop, uh, uh, you know, deputies of Milan Kuchan, uh, they started. That's what they claim. They started a new civil rights movement in Chicago. And that's why it was black people that would come to me during MK Ultra, And they started to insist me that it's totally normal not to use a recorder inside of the police station. Just as I explain all these issues in part number two. They're one of the best videos I have created. It's going to be exactly this one. It was here, it was in New York, the police, they started to brainwash, and I had a law enforcement officer, some American law enforcement officer that would come here to Slovenia uh, and in the United States of America that started to take sides, which was in fucking insane. And I was told that this crime in particular, it's all going to be video recorded and it's going to be sent to the United States of America. In fact, when this crime was to take place, there will be a law enforcement officers, even from abroad is what I was told. They will be watching this program. They will be watching this incident and they will cast votes on what to do with me. And I was told during MK Ultra by the female police officers in the United States of America that laugh at me, white females, laugh at me, suggesting me, do not move your hands. Do not even move your hands. If you move your hands, they're going to grab you. They're going to jump on you. This is how far this shit here have gone. Okay? This is how far this lunacy have gone. In part number two, I'm going to explain to you about these tables here that you see, the way these tables look like. Uh, during MK Ultra, they had me sit here at these tables and insisted that when the two police officers approached me, if I'm not going to have at least a uh, psychiatrist cop did this stuff with the police, if I will not have uh, these seats away and knees out of these tables, because these this tables are just as high as my knees. In fact, I have to put the knees down to, to put my legs under these uh, tables here, uh, under this table. So <clears throat> they insisted me that if I'm going to stand up and this and that, and you're going to push the table and this and that, that this will be another also issue they would use to get to, to create an incident out of it. And further, if I would be in this kind of position that I would sit, which I did, I sit very relaxed here in this chair, laid back, I waited for this criminal basically to come back and talk to me about it. And instead, every time he went through the door, he was smashing the doors. It was inappropriate the way he acted. 
his attitude all the time was angry. But it went to something else when the other police officer joined him and have exited doors in a very, very inappropriate manner, approached me uh, while I was sitting here. He came here and started to bark at me. And so I said, I said to him, why, why are you guys so aggressive? What are you, why, why are you trying to intimidate me? Are you trying to intimidate me with this? And then I stood up. Then I started to raise myself up. And I looked at him in the face because he was all angry and stuff like this. Then I started to ask him face to face. I wanted to know the details about what is it. I mean, because he was, he was looking forward all the time to have facially to create a contact with me and start incident. And I avoided. it. I avoided. it. I just... I, I I didn't know what what the fuck went on. What is it that they are so excited about? What's happening here with this stuff? Till um, I had enough to establish reasonable, according to recording, that these people did go too far, and it's time to make sure they don't. They're not going to believe that they intimidated me or something like this. Listen, I'm not a teenage boy. I'm not a child, and even if I would have been that much worse you don't treat people like this at a police station that was totally without any kind of dignity without absolutely anything the two police officers wrestled with me already inside of this place here they already physically assaulted me they're in mk ultra inside of this police station both of them so this is where their problem is okay and this shit started in 2009 when I immigrated again to United States of America after novel master police, this police station had lost case against me. They lost case against me for a stolen parts, money for the stolen parts, which I paid for in Germany after they tried to rack me with a car. They tried to assassinate me with a car. And I went to report nothing. Only the theft of the money for the car parts. But it was the police which promised me assistance and even ensured me that everything is okay. Would not respond to my calls, would not respond, did not want to interact with me. It was totally lost communication. And they started to ask me, why am I harassing them? Why am I even coming to visit them and stuff like this? So I launched complaint against them. They lost the complaint. They send the psychiatrists against me. Uh, social workers compel me basically to run for life to the United States of America. This is how far this crime goes. Yeah. So these are the things I did not mention in the video. It's very, very important. The two thugs, the two criminals here, and I do not record them. I did not record them. I don't like to record people uh, unless... <clears throat> the two come out yeah i hope i'm just gonna see maybe their feet something that i'm gonna catch them there you go there the two the two thugs those are two other criminals that were involved in it they also threatened they also threatened and they guaranteed me there's going to be another incident two incidents they're going to be involved in that they are, that I better watch out myself, that they are very, very handy. They, they can be very, very handy, or if it's an incident, they can be very, very tricky. And on a heartbeat, they'll go and get you arrested. This is how these two criminals here who departed with this van have presented themselves. These two criminals also were involved in it. I anticipate sometimes like since 2008. So, uh, as for the rest of it, I described pretty well. And this will complete the crime at the Novo Mesta police station today.